All right, YouTube, I need a little bit of help here. I have someone's uh, Dell Optiplex GX620 here. Uh, it's a Pentium 4, 3 gigahertz. Uh, came to me with 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, I've since been trying and swapping out different RAM sticks. And the problem that I'm having is I'm getting a beep code on startup. Um, and I've tried swapping out different RAM sticks and all that uh, uh, nice juicy stuff that you usually do when you have one of these little problems with these Dells. And uh, I, I found something out very interesting. See, when I plug this in, starts up. One. One. Two. Three. One. Two and then it just hangs. Error code 132, according to Dell's diagnostic manuals for this particular um, computer, <coughs> state that that means there is something wrong with the memory or the memory isn't being initialized properly. However, uh, stated with some Phoenix BIOS um, documentation, which these do have if you know anything about the internals of Dell's, they do use a Phoenix uh, style BIOS. 132 states that there is an error with the first 64 kilobytes of memory and it is not it is either not being recognized or it's not starting the diagnostic so that could mean that someplace on this within the first 64 kilobytes of ram uh which is within the first 640 kilobytes which would otherwise be on board someplace is bad. So no matter what I do to replace these six, nothing's going to be resolved. Uh, at this point I'm considering that it might be a capacitor issue and just replace all the capacitors on the motherboard. This isn't that big of an issue as far as the computer. The computer's concerned. Um, the person does not really care if the computer works or not. They just wanted me to see if I can get it working. But if, a, if the capacitor replacement would solve the issue, I may go ahead and just tell the person that it's hosed and uh, keep the board for myself and do the capacitor replacement and see if that fixes anything. Because any of these capacitors could be out of spec and that could be causing the problem. And you see on the other side here, underneath the floppy cable, there's more capacitors down there next to the RAM. So I'm guessing it might be one of the RAM, could be one of the capacitor, the capacitors by the RAM, could be something by, by the chipset here, could have gotten a little hot. As you see the Pentium 4s here, so that's using an aluminum based heat sink as well, so I would sort of expect that it would have gotten a little hot. It has holes for the bigger of the CPU heat sinks that would have been standard in this type of computer, however, pretty sure that this never came with that. However, it does support it. So if I wanted to, I could put that in and essentially put in something better than a 3.2, I think the highest you can put in with this. Um, it'll take up to a Pentium 4 3.8 or a Pentium D920 or 940. Something along those lines. So this could essentially be a dual core system, but it's not. Um, of course, I don't know the exact dealings with that. All I know is that there's an issue. None of the capacitors are bulging. Bat CMOS battery is fine. Uh, the RAM slots are completely clean. I even cleaned them out. Uh, tried different RAM sticks that are known working. Tried them in different arrangements. Nothing seems to work. I tried uh, moving around the SATA cables. Uh, I tried uh, getting redoing that. Yes, the computer's still running while I'm doing this because I'm an idiot. Uh, this is the wire going to the cover sensor here, which also doesn't matter any. There's another Pentium 4 which I was using for testing. Uh, that's a three. That's a three gigahertz, but it's um two. It's a Prescott 2M, so two X cache, all that nice stuff. Uh, and then there's an 80 gig hard drive in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe I'll just give it back to the person. Uh, yeah, I, I can't seem to figure out what the deal is with this. If anyone else has experienced the, um, the, um, 
132 error or anything in the 131 to 244 area for beep codes, I think it was. And on the front, it doesn't show anything. It just shows power and a number one, meaning there's an issue with the memory. Blah, blah, the memory. Blah, 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 blah. Ugh. It's a little early in the day for me, guys. Okay, so uh, I don't know what the deal is here. It just doesn't want to see memory at all. So if anyone has any experience with this, let me know. Uh, send me a message. Leave a comment if you have one. I mean, I, I honestly don't know what to do.